So in this video guys, we're going over what I do not like in Infinite Warfare Zombies, aka Space Land Zombies, so let's get right into it. For the first thing I've got on this list is that I hate the Afterlife Arcade in solo. Only solo, I only hate in solo. Because one, because when you go down and you're revived by open atoms, as soon as you spawn back on the map, you still have to go and buy your weapons. I think this is a dumb thing from Infinity War to do in their zombie mode because normal quick revive would actually keep your weapons, not make you go rebuy them when you die. Because you do not, technically, when you go into reviving solo, you do not die, you are revived like you are reviving co op. But in this, when you go down, you have to go back to the lost and found and buy your weapons back. This is really difficult, especially at high rounds because that spawn is so compressed. And like zombies, there's well, at least four zombie windows in that spawn, and then there's a brute spawn right next to it, and it's so annoying to get your weapons back at high rounds. So when it comes to high rounds, it's just like if you go down, you're basically fucked if you want to go get those weapons back, or you have to basically go and get completely new weapons, get your packs back, and get set all the way back up from the start. And it's even more shitty when you don't have the points for that. The second one on the list is the upgrade. When What I mean by this is that when you upgrade a weapon, it doesn't even upgrade the damage that much. When we upgrade in normal Black Ops Zombies or World of War Treyarch Zombies, we normally get weapons that are much stronger and they are not even that strong at all because some of the weapons just are bullet sponges at around 25 to 30. Because normally on Treyarch Zombies, 25 to 30 is a normal medium medium size run, normal size for people to go at. But on this, it's very difficult to even get to round 30 because of this pack a punch, pack a punch system. And because of this, it's very unlikely for you to go in a public lobby and get to round 30 with people that you do not know. Because of this, is because they will not know what they are doing with like, the weapons unless they are high level zombie players or zombie veterans. To know what they are doing to get to high rounds, get to get round 30, and what strategies to use. And then we're going to the next one, and the next one is really annoying. Is that the donate the the, the what do you call it? You call it when you donate your money to a barrier. I hate this only because of one reason. They are so expensive. What a, this expensive thing is so annoying to me because one. I normally buy the barrier all myself and my teammates do not help at all and I have to buy it by myself and make my way to Juggernaut at the beginning of the game because the players I'm playing with normally go to Polar Peak Fest for some known reason. I'm guessing it's the roller coaster. But making my way all the way to buy Jug or anywhere on the map because I mostly, when I'm in public lobbies, I mostly have to spend all my money opening the map because public lobbies are so bad because the people with their money are so greedy like normal I'm used to that from these past couple of years of playing zombies in public lobbies it's just terrible that's probably one reason I don't like playing public lobbies but I have to play public lobbies in this past weekend because of this double XP weekend that only can be done in public lobbies for some weird reason but it's really hard for me because of these donation barriers and they are four grand together, like four thousand together. It's just annoying because I'm because I'm basically wasting about five five thousand five hundred just to get to jug alone, and no one helps me. And in 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 solo, it normally takes you two thousand two hundred and fifty to get to jug, but no, not this time. It's so annoying, and yeah. And the next one is that it's the high round strat, being at high rounds again. High rounds gets annoying when it comes to boss zombies. What Boss zombies, aka Brute, is really annoying at high rounds because his health always goes up. There is no, far as we know, there is no max, max range his health can go at a certain round and max out. This is annoying because when you're at a high, like a high round, like probably 90 plus, you're gonna be wasting two to three upgraded shot like pack a punch shotguns that are gonna drop him really quick, not that fast, and it's gonna start annoying you to fuck just to beat the round. And half of that round is just gonna be you putting 
your rounds from your shotgun, shotguns and stuff into the brute himself. And the most unlucky thing about this and annoying thing is that there can be more than one spawned at once in solo. What I've been making my emphasis on this list is solo players because so I am a solo player and it just it drives me mad to make this and make it to these rounds and just get these completely daft stuff that are annoying as hell and basically this is what I hate about this like infinite warfare zombies it's, it's less things that I would hate in black ops 3 zombies because black ops 3 zombies I did hate quite a lot of stuff but that's basically it for this video hope you guys really enjoy this video and um, hope you want to see more content in the future until then like subscribe and i'm gonna see you then see ya bye bye see ya